Hello, Internet! Dave Gill coming at you from all sides of the internet corners of the world, the big wide web. It's a big web, and uh, I'm just another fly stuck on the web, just calling out, just trying to communicate with you all out there in front of your Macs or PCs. As I mentioned in the last, my last vlog, video blog, um, I haven't got many friends on Facebook, but I'm changing that. It's changing all the time. It's going up slowly. But uh, one thing a lot of you keep writing on the actual wall, and I, I prefer if you stop doing this, is you keep saying, are you real? Do you exist? Uh, well, uh, of course I exist. I'm here, I'm breathing, I've got a pulse, I've got a heart, I've got a voice, I'm talking to you now. I'm not CGI, this isn't like a Peter Jackson Weta Productions creation. At the end of the day, uh, it is existential bullying that's taking place when your actual existence is being questioned because I had so many comments on the wall one evening that I actually did start to doubt my own existence and rather awfully I was in the house on my own comment after comment say does this person exist? Is this person fictional? And I could just be a case of do I exist? Am I real? I can feel my pulse but is that pulse real? Is that just an abstract thought? Is this like something out of the matrix? Am I just in some virtual reality dome? What's going on? You know, are these people like Morpheus telling me I don't exist? And it was just an absolute nightmare. I rushed out of the house, went next door knocking on the door frantically and uh, one of the students the next door opened the, uh, the door, he had red eyes, he'd obviously been doing something illegal, I wasn't really interested in that and he said, uh, Duncan, what's wrong? And I said, uh, my name's not Duncan, yeah, Dave, what is it? We're kind of busy and I said, you've, you've sorted out my emergency just by acknowledging my existence, go back to whatever illegal recreation you're doing, um, sorry to trouble you, just one of those moments when you think to yourself, you're alone in the house, you think, am I fictional, am I real, am I just a character in a book, but I'm not, you're talking to me and that, that's fine. And he closed the door rather sharply after that, fair enough, I think I intruded in his evening. But for crying out loud, you can't live a life where you've got to sort of run into McDonald's shouting hello and hoping people look around and see you. Let's bring this debate to an end. I exist, I'm alive, I have a pulse, I have a, a mouth, a voice and eyes, I have blonde hair and a side quiff, I'm Dave Gimmel, I'm alive, alright? Uh, for crying out loud, go to the Brighton Hospital archives, um, there's lots of information about me uh, being born, like there is everyone else, I'm not special, I'm just saying, you know, just a few brief information about my, I had a slightly troubled birth. Um, now actually, to, uh, to show you uh, actual proof that I exist, and also a bit of a fun anecdote, which I promised in other uh, vlogs, um, it was my birthday a few months ago, very exciting, and um, before my birthday I went to the Tate Modern in London and they had a portrait of famous people, Ian McKellen, um, Prince Charles. I looked at the portraits and I thought, you know what, I would love one of those of me, of Dee Gimmel. My mother said to me, your birthday's coming up, what do you want? Um, and I looked over to my father and I said, what do you think I should get, Dan? I'm 30. And he ignored me. I thought, all right, fair enough. And I thought, I'm not just going to add more to scale electric sets. I'm not just going to get another instrument. I'm never going to learn. And I'm not going to just get a massive Dalek, which I want, a remote controlled Dalek. I'm going to do something professional, serious, adult-like. And I'm going to invite an artist into my home. Um, and I'm going to ask them to draw a picture of me, a bit like DiCaprio and Kate Winslet in uh, Titanic, and just to grab a moment in time together. As I'm saying that, it sounds a bit sexual and erotic, but it's not at all. He's, his name was Ralph, he's 60 years old, there was nothing going on like that. And he asked me where I liked the actual painting, um, you know, to take place when to actually uh, to paint it. And I thought, goodness, where's the best time to grab Gimmel? It's first thing in the morning. It's when I raise and I'm ready up and I'm full of energy like a Duracell bunny. I said to him, Ralph, here's a key to the house. Make sure you give it to me afterwards. I don't know you that well, although you've got quite a respectable presented website. You could have a dark history. Let yourself in, creep up the stairs, and just set your easel up and paint. Paint away and just grab me. Grab me in a natural gimmel state. The first painting he did, I was actually asleep. And I woke up and I saw him halfway through the painting. And I said, Ralph, you have to do it again. I just look like a corpse. Because when I sleep, I just sleep like that. He started again, and it was me up in bed. I'll show you the actual painting. It's me up in bed, as you can see. And um, there I am. I'm looking through my action plan. This is all the lists of what I'm doing. This is the name of all the lads, what they've done to me, what they're planning to do to me. And these are all my strategies and graphs of, you know, how I'm basically going to fix broken Britain. And it's a lovely painting. Um, I've already said to Father, where are you going to put it in the lounge? And... Um, he didn't say anything. I could see he was thinking, where am I going to put this? 
Okay, I'm not an abstract person. I'm not like something like the Muppets. I'm not like you know an animatronic character. Uh, I'm a real living person. That's me waking up, strategizing, working out what to do with my day. Well, I just want to bring this to an end now. Okay, so hopefully this has put all sort of question marks to a close. I'm a real boy. I'm not Geppetto's creation. This is Dave Gimmel, a real man, coming at you from the internet, from a real place, heart beating, pulse racing with internet excitement. Talking to you now. Stop the actual comment on the wall, please. I'm real. I'm here right now. I'm about to go into the kitchen with the folks, have some dinner, and then watch a bit of X Factor. I'm just like you, real, coming at you, real flesh. Just want to relate. That's all. Take care, Gimmel fans.